Link Meets Art here, back again once again at Today People. Today, I'm coming at you with an interesting kind of a booster box. The Four Dimensions Booster Box. And I'm not the only one here. Hello, I'm Grammy. How's, how's your peeps doing out there? Well, now that we got that settled uh, for Grandma Sar uh, to come out, let's just get on with this. Alright. Yeah, and I got her into this card game because why not? Uh, I might as well have others uh, to tag along on this while this shenanigans happens. Yeah, but this is the Four Dimensions uh, Booster Box, the BT yeah, BTO2A. This isn't kind of the booster box I would go for. It just kind of depends. It just mostly depends on it. Anywho, sorry about that for a little second of delay. Okay, let's just get on with this uh, booster box opening. Here we go. This isn't kind of the booster box I would go for, but since my grandmother is going to be leaving eventually, I might as well get it. And, oh! This Something added? This Executioner boost, uh, Searing Executioner uh, promo card. Interesting. Hmm. I think this uh, comes with either the Searing Executioner or Divine Guardian. That's one of the two flags, which I think Searing Executioner did start it in Triple D, but it wasn't much competitive-wise until later on. But yeah, let's get on with this then. Uh, pulled out the two of the booster boxes. And... Let's begin to see what we pull today. Hopefully something good. Even though I know this already has support for like Zodiacs and such I believe. Not 100% sure but let's see how this goes. Uh, Lethal Poison Jailer Sh Shalute uh, Levari Sword Mountain Jailer Bakayashu or something like that. Card Serpent, Card Burn, I don't even know why this is even in anyway. Uh, Dragon Protector of Celestial Gates, uh, Lamunion, hmm. and it is the one of the Guardian cards. That's a rare, interesting. Is that a pull? Yeah, that's a pretty first pull, and let's... See, it what my grandmother pulls because I, yes, I am opening her packs for her. Yeah, just to make things a bit easier. And revealing them because why not? She has her hands occupied. With baby boy. Yeah, uh, with uh, puppy's heart, I guess. <laughs> uh, Treasure Jailer as Sonagard, something like that. Eighth Army, Eighth Army Dual Dragon Sonobly. Oh, Dual Dragon card, interesting. Not bad of a card, not bad. I might add more of that. Shining Up Hanako. And that's Gabi Kato's sister, little sister, but I'm not even sure how she looks like nowadays. Oh well. <laughs> card Rhino. And. The main said uh, decision. Okay. Top two cards of your deck into your into your drop zone. If there is an executioner or some them cards, so put the top top card of your deck into the gauge and draw card. Not bad for ex executioner's deck. A little interesting, but it's not like my cup of tea. I mean, Searing Executioner isn't that bad of a flag. It's just the combos to pull it off is kind of stupid I guess so because it's not really used nowadays anywho Scorpio Celestial as as Corpia Sinentos of the Star kind of these along with that Zodiacs Recovery Regeneration Envy Feather Dragon Mellow Involute to Envy Amaria Amarita and Swoop uh, Alec Anagulus. 
Okay, not bad on that. And let's carry on with this. Okay. Yeah, for a second, a uh, pause. Okay, sorry for that delay. Anywho, Searing Master is Susan. Not bad. No place. Nagavati, Andy, Envy, Bloom, Dragon Jr. And a reverse hollow. Virgo, Celestial, Virgin, and Escanar, Runar. Oh, a dual world card. Okay. Anywho, let's carry on with this. Next, we got a Banquet, Despair, Testament. I do apologize for my pronunciations. If it's all off, then let me know. Little Light. Trust Envy Spahead. Nirvana Sword of Heaven's Marnus. Oh. Guardian Deity Dragon of Paradise at Avalon. I believe this... I believe a... I forgot the girl's name from the Triple D series used this card. But you guys might know it. If you do, a comment below on who it is because I just got back at it trying to rewatch uh, some Buddy Fight series. So why not? I mean, it's something to do uh, while on my day off. But besides doing this for you guys, which. Hopefully it's much appreciated because it does take a lot of hard work to actually get all this. Own style is Sliding Fang. Hazar, Hazel Emperor Jailer, All King. Pure White Envy Witta. Reverse Hollow Card Burn. Oy vey. Envy... End of our star deity, Tarkress. Hmm. Not bad, I guess. I just need that buddy Zodiac or something like that. I mean, yeah, the buddy rare Zodiac monster that I've heard you can easily get from this set, maybe. But I guess I maybe might do an opening of this and maybe get the... And I almost revealed it. what's in it. Dragon Blessing. Thousand Limber Jail or Carnivore. Sparkling Envy of Karan. Dragon Eraser Jamming. You got it? I just got a buddy rare. Oh, it's like gold. <laughs> Yes, and it's the one of the goodest ones. It's definitely one of the good buddy rares. I can How can you tell? Yeah, and I just pulled the fourth Ami Lord, Burn Nova, for a buddy rare. Are you flipping kidding me? Oh, this right. is one of the good Raging Spirits Ancient World cards. And I cannot believe you can easily get this as a buddy rare. No one even told me about this. And how many pa uh, within about less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Within less than eight packs, uh, I get this on the first pa on the first section on the first column too. What the heck? Okay, looks like that's gonna be sleeved for sure. For sure. Now, let's continue with this, and... A little apology for even pushing you guys back and forth. I have no idea why this happened. Medusa Shield. Okay. Daredevil Barrett. Ooh, Knight of Glory El Quixote. Good uh, adventure night card uh, that was been 
Para World from the Borukudo. During that uh, 100 Buddy Fight 100, when El Quixote was switched from Dragon World to Dungeon World, Eliminator Equala and Black Superior Strength Adori. And yes, I am. I might as well just put him in this right up front because that is just unbelievable. I want. I wonder what other buddy rares I'll get in just this. I might even pull the impossible. I might pull the possible. Who knows? Former Jailer Inkasuna, Glinton Jailer, Genarchu, X Generation Fifth Army Cavalry Dragon. Sand Staff uh, Bagadish. If you have a size 3 Dragon World monster on your field, the size of this card is reduced by 1 so that it can be instantly a size 0 when this card enters the field. You... <laughs> Sorry, when this card enters the field, you may put the top card of your deck in, into a soul of a monster on your field if you do take 1 damage. It might be a good combo with that card, maybe. Uniform Warrior, Sister Ferelli, and pull the impact of the triple, uh, triple rare, Avalon, Belle de Grey. Very interesting of a card for an impact monster as well. I mean, I'll take it. It's a triple rare. I'll take it. Definitely. Now let's carry on with this. And don't worry, you'll have you'll be able to see my grandmother opening her own packs, but she'll have to do it in the camera. Oh, I was just trying to be helpful here. Not yet. Stretch Lord of Virago, Im Eliminator Descendria. The Shield of Justice will never shatter. <laughs> Nullify the attack if it's not a link attack. Not bad for a hero world. Verse Hollow, Encouragement of the White Veil. And the Eliminator Jerk Line. I'm not too good. Well, she is trying, but this is her first time doing this, so I can't blame her on it. Because I was actually kind of scared during mine. Head Slay Jailer at Baragcha. Black Beast Battle Arts. Encouragement of the White Fail. Blitz Envy Shiny Bell. And a Rare Heated Up Sun Ball Dragon. Call cost to, to pay one gauge. When this card attacks, you may put the top. Top three cards of your deck into the drop zone, and for this turn, it gets a plus one crit for for every Sun Dragon among those cards. Oh, with it a six thousand power, four thousand defense, and crit up two. Top three of that, you might with the maximum high roll of that, you can get five crit in one turn. Not bad. Legitimately, not bad of a Sun Dragon. And yes, I am thinking of building a Sun Dragon deck, which it will be possible. But if you want to see a deck profile of that, comment below as well. I want these comments of these videos to go crazy insane and with enough views. Please on that. Anywho, great fate to Frozen Stars. Executioner Hammer. He Heli Spander. Melody Envy. Sword Flute Dragon, Deity of Law, Reversed Hollow, and Demon Demon Way at Ch Chikosu. And let's carry on with this. Medusa Shield. Sword Edge uh, Jadler Sagalus. Might be a good Searing Executioner card. I might be thinking of building a Searing Executioner deck now I think about it. Anywho, Spectral Light Ring. 
Rescue Dragon Meter Morph Effect. Ooh, Abigail SD. Nice. Love this card. Uh, this Disney of the of the Death Dragon. When this card enters the field, if three or five, if there are five or more cards in the drop zone, in your opponent's drop zone, draw a card. If 15 or more destroy a monster or an opponent's field, you can only activate Destiny of the Death Dragon once once per turn. Hmm. Abigail SD. That is kind of interesting that Abigail has got his own SD in this. But, I mean, it is kind of surprising with the buddy of a Burn Nova. But, it's... Well, let's see how this goes. Let's see if we can make this uh, boot, booster box godly. Yeah, by holding two, uh, by getting two buddy rares. Doubtable, but let's see how it goes. A Neon Envy Soma. Uh, Reverse Hollow. Aquarius Celestial Aquario. Dragon Sky Regression. For Guardians. And last pack. What can we end with? Let's see and find out. Right. Now. There we go. Light Horn of the False Deity. Seal Master Sustin. Card Rhino. Deity of Law. And... Sky Dragon Divinity. Hmm. Interesting. I've heard of this card before, but... This might be good since it's a dual world for Dragon World and Ancient World. Yeah, this was used for competitive decks, I believe. I, I forget how long ago, but... Now for the left... Now for the left side... Let's see the, what we have here in store for us. Rather not damage the cards again because that's going to be stupid. Anywho. Gemini Celestial Gamios. Eighth Army Dual Dragon. Sabalu. Definitely love him. Going to need more, two more of him. Regoration Envy Feather Dragon Mellow. Heaven Shield. And. Well, that is kind of an additional rare. I have no idea why it adds two rares in this, but oh well. Aquarius uh, Star Star Sentinel Aquario. Dawson Limped Jailer uh, Cadaval Gate Fate Frozen Star Car Serpent Infinite Envy Marita Full Strash Formation Impact, right? For str full Strash uh, Formation. You can only cast this card if you have two or more Avengers on your field. And you do not have a monster in the center. Pay 3 cage. Stand all the adventurer on your field. And tackle with all the adventurers on your field. Okay, that's... I guess it's, that's not bad, but... Eh. This is an impact card. Yeah, I don't see, like, a good use for that. But, eh. We'll find out, see. Little light. Luna Nova. Discard a card from your hand. If the card discarded by your hand, uh, by this car cast cost, is a legend world, you gain one life and draw a card. If the if it if the card is Star Dragon World, put the top card of your deck into the gauge and destroy a size two or less monster on your opponent's field. Not bad, a once per turn for that. Card burn. No Place and future 
uh, astrally. Hmm. Astrology. My bad. And this is a not bad of a double rare, I believe. Choose a mod or two of the, for the following effects. You can only cast it once per turn. People engage, and if you do, if there is a star on your field, draw a card. If there is a Neo Dragon on your field, draw a card. Counter is during your turn. Your flag is uh, regarded as Dragon World and Star Dragon World. Okay, so this card can easily make it your one flag becoming two world. It becoming a dual world. Okay. That's kind of weird, but oh well. We'll find out. Yeah, also, before I open this pack, if you do want to see a Raging Spirits deck, Raging Spirits deck from me and using this buddy, comment it below immediately. As soon as, if you make it this far, comment below to answer your opinion for that, because it might even happen. And I might open this booster box again for you guys' options. So we will find out and see. Light Horn of the False Deity. Sword Edge Jailer Soul Glass. Dragon Arms. Skull Ranger. Glee Glee Big Wave. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why. And I just got another Ami Lord. Third Ami Water Lord me Sarah. Uh Yes, I was even thinking of building my own Ami Lord deck and I need this Miseria uh, for that particular reason because of the Miseria Dragon and this combo with the card. That is Perfection! Mm -hmm. Now, let's carry on with this booster box. I do know you can only pull one buddy rare, but if we do pull two, then this is going to be one of the factory era booster boxes, and it's going to be all filmed. Own style, sliding fang, heads... Headslay Jailer at Barucha, S Savage Lands Essien Tiger. I need the Flash Dance Blitz Tiger for that combo card for Dungeon for Dungeon World Adventurer deck. Bloom Dragon F Junior and Master of Searing Executioners Gargoyle Gargoyles. With this card enters the field. Put the top five cards into your deck into the drop zone. If 15 or more cards in your drop zone, this card gets a plus one crit and penetrate. Double attack and life link at two. Not bad. Not bad of a good card. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely building the Searing Executioner stack. Screw it, why not? Yeah, because right now Searing Executioners may be good. I want, I want to find out uh, the exe Searing Executioner's own cards. Oh, well. Jolotin, Jailer, Guru. Stop. Sword, Mountain, Jailer, Oni Marshru. Dragon Eraser, uh, Deleverger. Trust, Envious, Behead. And Never Say Never. Put the top two cards of your deck into the gauge. Then if, if there are no cards in your hand, draw two cards. Not bad. Mm -mm. Not bad. Maybe used for... Yeah, that might be good of a use. Black Beast Battle Arts. Treasure Jailer is Salkaratch. Dragon Arms says Gunnagir. Nevada Sword Heaven Heaven's uh, Marius and a rare the Law Garaplus. Hmm. 
This might be a little bit longer of a video than usual, but who knows. Suge Kage uh, Kanai's mode. Definitely heard of this and not even sure if it's good. Dragon Blessing. Glee Glee Big Wave. Pure White of N Pure White Envy Witta. Star Pull Sword Ester Est Esteria. If you have another monster with Zodiac in its card's name on your field, originally of all size two or less star monsters, it becomes size zero. This card can attack even if it has a monster in its center, a thousand power, a crit of one. Which is not that bad, but hmm. at least it chip for what at least to be able to chip away of your opponent's life. Mm. Eh, just to deal small damage. Formless Jailer Ikasucha. Daredevil Barrett. Star Staff. El Quixote. And DD Age Envy Michaelis. Mm. Good a Dragonite card and Adventurer card. So, well, it's a Knight and a Dragonite, but oh well. Bell Death uh, Despair Trainment. Hazel, Hazel Emperor Jailer All King. Sister Feral. Eliminator Quilda. And Eternal Envy Atarier. Mm. Atarier. Mm. Mm. Impact. Uh, blazing in my hands is a white and white of black. You may only cast this card if your opponent has four life or less. You have 20 or more cards in your drop zone and you do not have a monster in the center. Pay four gauge and deal four damage to your opponent. This card it cannot be nullified. Ooh. I guess you can say it's good-ish, but eh. Lethal Poison Jailer is Salute uh, Lavari. Sparkling Envy uh, Karan, Eliminator Desaria, Meteor Arms, and the Belosa. Not bad. Not bad at all. A good Dragon Arms so for Dual World, for Legend World, and Star Dragon World. That it could be, means it could be played in either one. Gemini Star Sentinel uh, Gemios. Blazing in my hands. It's a white it's a white light of black. And so our tiger. Devonager. And another triple rare. Nice. Praetorial Envy Alexial. Okay. Three more packs remain. Let's see what we pull. Hopefully I can pull that Zodiac because I do want him. I do want him though. Virgo is uh, Star Sentinel of Vergen. Executioner Hammer uh, Helios Safander. Dragon Eraser uh, Jamming. Encouragement of the White Fail. And S Sky Pillar Armor. Demartri. I remember this card uh, being used for Guardians. This was not a bad card in Ancient World, I believe, for like Dual Jaeger or something. Actually, for Dual Seeker, I believe. Yeah, Dual Seeker was actually good with that card. I believe, if I'm correct. Divine Guidance. Shadow Crusader. Melody Envy Sword Flute Dragon, Rescue Dragon Metal Morph Effect, 
and、mm. head note jailer sigh.、Mm. Last pack of destiny. Come on.、Mm. Come on. Come on. Pull me a. Pull me a biggie. Pull me a biggie. Pull me a biggie. I just need a biggie here.、Mm-hmm. Scorpio、uh, star sentinel as Corbia.、Mm-hmm. Luna Nova. Aeon Envy is Soma. Deity of Law. Ah,、mm-hmm. uh, Deity Dragon Envy and Muriel.、Mm-hmm. Well, that's basically it, guys.、Uh, so far, uh, the uh, Enviel, the Sarah, the Weird Impact, and the Buddy Rare Fourth Army Fire Lord Burn Nova. Again, if you want me to build this deck of a Raging Spirit from Ancient World, and using this as the Buddy. Comment below, and I'll let you even know on my own opinions. And if it, I might maybe do a poll, a poll to find out the official, the official votes from you guys to find out. Yes, you want me to build this, or just keep it as a, just a collection. Comment that below. Flaming star here, and Grandma star is over there. We are out. See you guys. See us.